Huh? Hey man, yeah. all this is not going right. <laughs> yeah, we can edit everything. Can we let? Yeah, 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 yeah. But will we? Is that that's yeah. a bigger, <laughs> that's a bigger question. Hello and welcome to episode seventy six of the Discontent Podcast. Uh, I'm Aditya Khanna. With me is Bharat Misra. Hi. And Hi, joining yes. us is a guest who was a guest on episode six of the Discontent Podcast, and he's also here on episode seventy six. Dhruv Segal, thank you for joining us, man. Hi guys. Hello. So yeah, thank you, Dhruv. First of all, for appearing on our podcast uh, regularly, which has been like a good source of bumping our our reach every now and then. So as your career grows. your career keeps growing every time you every time you show up on the discontent podcast and so does our reach so i think this is a very cool quid pro quo i don't know who which side is getting more from this but i would <laughs> if anyone would like to venture a guess but maza to tab aayega jab dono careers niche ja rahe honge hum podcast aaye ja rahe that's real great <laughs> end game to wahi hai na dekh end game wahi hai end game to wahi hai end game to wahi hai anonymity <laughs> so uh but this time we have dhruv segal specifically to talk about his short film in modern love mumbai and modern love mumbai in general the new anthology series uh, by uh, amazon prime which is also this it was there was a new york chapter of it and i believe these are all based on different new york times columns right yeah 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 and i recently learned this is a model of tokyo model of london as well hmm Has it? I had, it's already out there. मुझे कुछ नहीं पता यार मुझे अभी we had some uh, we had some event and the producer was talking about it. I was like shit ये तो देखना चाहिए थी Tokyo तो देखना चाहिए हम्म hmm. you know yeah London can go fuck it sir but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but, uh, but no I mean this is something I think uh, this was really fun for uh, for me to watch even before I watched it because. you know just knowing through it becomes a i would love to believe that i have a one one a degree of separation from vishal bardwaj and hansel mehta <laughs> man that is what i like to know what was before we get into the film what was your reaction to when you found out that your co directors are going to be like you know shonali bose alankrita shah so hansel mehta vishal bardwaj like what was yeah. that yaar do cheeze thi ek to mujhe lag raha tha ki i hope these guys make a good film you know because unka competition aa gaya ab life mein no i'm joking no uh, my uh, reaction was uh, first was to obviously be like dude what the fuck why why ha why have i been given this you know this sort of neo matrix kind of like mere sath hi kyun hua like kuch karna bhi acha but ye responsibility nahi chahiye and then uh, now this sounds all sappy and all shitty but then i told myself ke your job is to be honest towards your characters towards your story and that's it hmm. so dono cheeze hui first was i was like dude what the hell why why me second was like well now you've been given this chance you better do it and if you do it then you only think about whatever you, what you want to convey and how you want to convey and rest doesn't matter hmm hello ha bhai ha much better but not for us i mean your oh. voice oh your my voice is not good okay it's fine it's fine it's fine it's, it's fine for these yeah. also nahi nahi it's fine now it's thoda sa surround aa raha hai but theek hai it's Haan. fine it's okay but theek ha yeah you were so, saying kar uh, dete yeah. what was i say so we were talking about how you yeah so how you sort of got but when did you find out that you were going to do this matlab where what was that whole thing and when did you did you get a chance to sort of go through those columns and see something that you were interested in or was it assigned to you and i tried to read the one that your uh, film is based on uh, but mera new york times ka subscription khatam ho gaya tha main panch already pad chuka tha free mein to mere ko to mere ko subscription lena nahi hai uska bhi so yes yaar so uh, when the producer approached me i think and i think this is the truth she thought that i have directed little things you know so she was like <laughs> I was like, yeah, of course, I would like to write you one. She's like, why write? I said because I'm a writer primarily. She's like, uh, so I said, no, no. So in case you think that I've directed little things, I've not directed it. Hmm. Like, but I really like the world that you've created, and I really like the tonality of your uh, work. Then I told her, okay, yeah, I should not let this. I should not be this sincere boy. I uh-huh. told her that you know, okay, boy. So I'll send you everything that I've directed, from the shorts to the pilots that I've made, which have been come out. You take a call. 
so i sent her everything she saw everything she said dude i really like it you only direct i said cool then i'll direct so then i asked her who are the other directors then she revealed i'm like oh shit mm. those two moments happened and uh, how did i get this column or rather how did the columns come to us uh we were put on the same email thread all the directors aur unhone producer ne bola tha 12 baje aapko is din uh 6 essays bheje jayenge and it's a first come first serve you should <laughs> Oh, yes. yes. Short gun. Yeah. Like cool. And I was traveling from Kerala to Delhi. I'm in Kerala at the airport. Me tha. And for some reason, airports have really shitty network. And I'm too lazy yes. to connect to the Wi-Fi because it's never worked. It's never worked. So I was like, if anyone needs Kerala, a little educated, then I mean, it's better to connect. So my plan was to download all the essays because I had a New York Times subscription for that moment. Ke liye. Uh, and I was like, let's just download all of them all at once. And मैं फ्लाइट में पढ़ लूंगा दो घंटा जब मैं पहुंचूंगा closes i felt to exam is you know khatam ho raha hu main to abhi teesre question par hi and then within uh, next 5 seconds shnali ma'am sent her stuff you know that i'm taking this or i want vishal's but i'm taking this and like shit man ye time nahi hai then i was like ki in logo ne shayad sirf synopsis padha hai because you mm-hmm. very or which maybe vishal has just read the first one and his essay is one of the best things i've read on the internet since the last 2 years it's one mm-hmm. of the best things bahut acha essay wo then i was like by then i had an idea of all the five essays so i picked the one which alankrita uh, uh, alankrita shivastav jinka unhone banaya tha the wrinkles na. my beautiful my wrinkles. beautiful wrinkles so i picked that one only reason being i was like ki yaar i have already dealt with this urban couple let me not do this whole thing again hmm. go ahead with that so maine unko so first as first i said yes to my one then i just immediately replied saying ki no no guys i'll take my beautiful wrinkles thank you fair mm. uh, jaisi main flight mein ghus raha hu i get an email from the producer say so this is the final list and mere naam ke baju mein mera wala hi tha my beautiful wrinkles <laughs> i was like shit ye kya hua and then i called her i said hey man so i selected that ki you no know, i didn't get an email i was like man what is this <laughs> oh shit and then i went on my sent uh, my inbox my outbox so sala bibi ghume ja raha hai wo bhi gaya nahi hai oh shit so the so email didn't get sent then she's like hey, why don't you speak to alankrita or let me tell her that you want to do this i said cool then hmm. she called up alankrita alankrita read my she's like no boss mai ye wala to nahi karti then i said i would love to do shunali maps because they're cycling and i like to cycle So then she spoke to Shunali, and then Shunali, but man, probably read minds like no boss, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, "Okay, maybe my destiny is here." So that was seniority's chakkar me seniority. But you know, this is something damn funny to me because somewhere the little things the writer is going like, "Fuck, he's watching this," and yeah. he said, like, "Dude, what the fuck? This is not cool." Like. <laughs> there must be some some level of bitterness there, even if uh, it might not be admitted up publicly. No, yeah. But... Uh, sorry, go on. But yeah, for me, for me, the visual of all these directors is that they are four or five ADs sitting in the army of ADs, who has said, "Brother, come on, now read, sit, and make a report." Dude, they are a different beast because I know those directors also. They are a different beast because I know those directors also. They are a different beast because I know those directors also. They are a different beast because I know those directors also. They are a different beast because I know those directors also. They are a different beast मुंबई uh mother and the son and yeah, the yeah. like the the whole the the approach to that story and even nasuddin shah speaking cantonese and punjabi and hindi in quick succession was really fun to me bharat which ones did you which ones did you like apart from 
I love Thane, which was your like. I okay. genuinely only enjoyed apart from I love Thane. I enjoyed uh, Vishal Bharadwaj just the most. Hmm. Uh, and the others, I'm I've not loved. I hmm. I thought Bai was interesting. I mean, we were talking about this before with before the podcast. I think Bai had a very very interesting premise, but I don't think for me at least it worked on a on a story level. मतलब मेरे को लगा था मुझे बड़ा ही बेसिक टेक लगा उसका अगेन दिस माइट बी हॉट टेक बट आई फील होमोसेक्सुअलिटी इज एक्सेप्टेड इन आर सर्कल्स मुझे तुम ये मत बताओ कि होमोसेक्सुअलिटी इज फाइन मतलब दैट कैन बी योर कोर मैसेज इन माय ओपिनियन व्हाट आई व्हाट आई फाउंड इंटरेस्टिंग इन बाई वॉज द बॉम्बे राइट एंड द टेक ऑन दैट एंड दे आई मीन आई वोट स्पॉइल इट फॉर यू आदित्य वॉच दैट वॉन्ट but i found it the most interesting yet no, it didn't work for me overall uh, but yeah dhruv what was your uh, apart from yours obviously which one was your favorite out of the rest no i like i like both of these i like bai and i like mumbai dragon i like mm. both quite right. a favorite quite a favorite you know i'm not someone who uh, who seeks content on homosexuals or you know um LGBTQ plus, but uh, when I when I saw this, uh, like like Bharat was saying, I thought that I'm I'm done with this em- this this feeling that I you know this empathy. My that tank bhar gaya, you know, for a particular kind of stories. But when I saw this, I, I really felt it. You know, I genuinely felt it to the point that I took out my phone and you know took a photo also while watching it. मुझे बहुत अच्छी लगी. Of course, there were some things which I thought were this or that, but कहीं अब तक तो मुझे बहुत अच्छी लगी. I also really, really, really like Mumbai Dragon. Um, short anecdote: I was lucky enough to be on his set during Mumbai. Uh, oh. Mumbai Dragon, you know, जो uh, end में होता है because all the stories come together uh, in this sort of a six minute. Uh-huh. I went. I went. Went to his set. It was the first time in my life because probably I've never done anything. uh so magical in a way where i this could have happened i genuinely felt that i've been transported you know i felt the magic of what they said the movies ke mm. set pe gaya but the pura area unhone aise decorate kiya hua hai you know the chinese new year is there the dragons are there people are dancing and you know the lanterns were there i genuinely felt i've been teleported into some other place and i was like man shit this is the magic of working with people who are at the best you know he has the best set designer he shoots with the best dop tasaduk he has the best gaffer in the industry and it really really showed me what what peak uh, talent in the industry can do you know peak mm. good talent you know not like peak famous talent correct mm. like shit man you know and small small things the way he was doing his lighting uh, tasaduk sir and just just the vibe of that place it really felt as if तुम कहीं जा रहे हो यू नो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक यू आर वॉकिंग इन टू अनदर डायमेंशन यू इट रियली फेल्ट समथिंग रियली रियली गुड सो या दीस टू फिल्म्स ऑल राइट कमिंग टू आई लव थाने एंड भरत यू विल स्टार्ट विद यू व्हाट इज योर ओपिनियन ऑफ द फिल्म एंड ट्राई टू इग्नोर ध्रुव व्हाइल व्हाइल टॉकिंग अबाउट इट आई कैन शट माय कैप नहीं नहीं नो प्रेशर भरत हां नो आई तो रियली लाइक दैट आई आई सॉ इट एंड आई लाइक आई फील Out of all the stories, it felt the most un—I mean, not in a negative way, but uncinematic. It seemed like two people walking on the road and talking. That is the beauty of it. I felt because in every film, me, yeah, or even if I'm not comparing it to this set of films, there is a sense of artifice where you know a coincidence will happen or uh, a twist of fate will happen. All of these, you know, mm-hmm. terms or. things that we've sort of learned to grow like we've grown to learn uh, as filmmakers or as storytellers but somehow all of these things were concealed in uh, i love thane i felt none of it seemed contrived to me uh i i thought it was remarkably modern in like hmm. you know, which is which sort of justifies its name it is modern love so i i i have a very like i don't have much neg- negative things to say hmm. about it uh apart from a couple of things which i told through also which i mean we can delve deeper into when it into it when we right. delve deeper but uh, by and large i really i think i enjoyed it a lot no same for me i think uh 
I think in terms of what Dhruv said in the beginning, which was trying to be honest to the, I think that was something that I liked about the film the most, which mm. is the thematically it was very honest to the idea of modern love. Yeah. It wasn't. Uh, uh, and I think honesty is a is a is a is a multi layered thing. It's not just about ki oh addressing honest issues. Not just mm. that. Mm. Uh, while there is some of that, but uh, also like you know just characters talking the way they talk. Uh, I think that is important to me. It has been a pet peeve of mine uh, for a very long time. That yes, a lot of you carry on. Hold on, just give me two minutes. Kya ho gaya? Carry on. <laughs> okay, because it it's been like bothering me a lot in a lot of movies where characters are set in Mumbai or Pune or Bangalore or Delhi, and I have lots of friends in all these places, and you know they seem to be talking on in like very very strict Hindi or a very or a or a very weird mix of English. Which I have never heard any of my friends from the same milieu talk mm. uh, as those characters. Whereas over here they do talk like uh, uh, like real people. I think that is something that is fundamentally important to me in a story like this, which is about urban modern love, right? Mm. Uh, also, I what I specifically loved was the idea of somebody who is not um, a character, which is Ritwik Bhaumik, Bhaumik, right? the rithvik's character uh, which is that it is he is not exactly clearly very well versed with the whole internet culture he does not know the buzzwords of what it is to impress people he does not host a podcast haha so you know like there is he's not involved in all of that kind of world but he is still uh, as ambitious as this thing so one of my favorite moments in right in the film was when she when he tells her that you know this pro- spoiler alert uh, that this project is sort of called off and she and she says fuck off you know and his reaction over there which was like which i completely understood because how we talk in our meetings is like are fuck you like whatever like we have this blase yeah. kind of but other like other industries will not take that shit right they, mm. they like to maintain that sort of dignity yeah. uh, i really loved all these all these aspects um of the film so just starting off with dhruv what was your um what was your approach to talking about the why why did you uh, set it in thane for example why was that why was that your setting why was that why was masaba's character your protagonist yeah so i set it in thane because i see these both everywhere i love varsova i love lokhandwala and they piss me off yeah same <laughs> they really piss me off not the fact that that board is there but it's something about it lacks grace you know mm-hmm. like as opposed to feeling it you have to see it and then ah. you photo with it and her ke niche likha hota hai powered by or developed uh, by ha uh, uh, that was my that's the thing that bothered me also i was going to bring this up which is that i think a lot of these are put up by mlas or mps who yeah. mp lad fund hote hain they don't know where the fuck to spend they're like chalo ek ye kar dete apna promotion bhi hota rahega daily Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, more, I hate it for that reason more than any other reason. Plus, it's not pretty, you know. It's really not pretty. Hmm. But I like the phrase a lot. I love Thane, you know. So I was like, uh, let's do Thane simply because abhi Bollywood bolo, Hindi film industry bolo. You've seen the Dharavi, you've seen Town, you've seen Bandra, you've hmm. seen. And I always and I. Keep talking about my uh, DOPR Anirudh Patankar, who's probably come on your podcast or not. Not yet, but uh, we do plan to get. Yeah. You no, know, I keep looking at him, and I've never said said this to him on his face. But I, I Delhi, ja ke sabko bolta hum ke Bombay ka na middle class bahut sexy hai. You know, I love Bombay's middle class, the typical Maharashtrian middle class. They listen to good music. They're not into trash. Hmm. You know, they seem to be well read. There is an everyday grace about them. and they are actually very well spoken and intelligent you know which i find it to be very rare for any other city probably because i don't know any other city other than delhi and bombay mm-hmm. so delhi ka middle class and it's always seems like wo kabhi ye ho jata hai kabhi ye ho jata hai suddenly wo jagran mein bhi baith jayenge aur agle din ja ke wo wo jagran ko hi gali denge you know but mm-hmm. it's 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 a very weird uh, pata nahi ajeeb sa wo caricature sa feel hota hai but bombay ka so i was always curious about what is the like what is the suburban life of bombay also because i've lived only in andheri so i i'm a big suburban fan boy in that sense mm. so 
So I wanted to capture the suburban, like romance in a suburb, you know, in an everyday way. Not के यहाँ पे हम सब शाम को आके चाय पीते हैं. Correct. Not, not, not that. Not Tarak Mehta. Everyone hanging out, like not like that. Yeah, no. not like a time ही है हमारे पास. You know, अभी बकरियाँ भी चला चलाने ले जाते हैं. So I wanted to capture the suburbanness of Bombay because it's one thing that I know and it's one thing that I really, really love. Hmm. Hence. Um, I love Thane now. Why particularly Thane? Because it's about a pursuit of not love in my eyes. It was about a pursuit of authenticity in life. So I thought that it should not come easy. You know, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be like I love Andheri or I love Juhu because she's from Bandra. Let let it be a journey. You mm-hmm. know. So hence I love Thane. Also, she has one leg in Thane because she was born and brought up there. Mm-hmm. So the thematic essence was that she comes back home. So mm-hmm. in a sense, it's I love myself. But this boy just happens to be uh, whatever a medium. So I Correct. okay. I I had a question to that because this was interesting to me while I watched the film also a couple of times. Uh, the idea about authenticity and be keeping it real. Uh, why is it that you connect it to? Acha, wo Bandra se hai ya fir yahan se hai. So she she is seeking authenticity in Thane. Is it because as Kubra said said, who knew you could found you could find love in Thane? And then she got trolled for that. No, no before but, before Dhruv adds to it, but I just want yeah. what I felt. So then then Dhruv can correct us if hmm. that. I think that authenticity thing struck me because, uh, you know, I don't know this is the aspect, but Thane and Navi Mumbai, for example, it's always been like a you know a lot of Bombay people have this thing of oh they're not part they're not Bombay, right? And so that thing of authenticity comes over there also. Where they are their own cities, but they are also associated. Also, with always ki so, ha, not so Bombay. Are they a part of Bombay? Are they not Bombay? But they are the same. Li, uh-huh. Really, you know, मतलब it's that. I thought that could be one aspect. Do you correct think? me? No. So this authenticity came from the actual piece because in the hmm. real piece, she goes on dates with these three guys who are on Tinder. Yeah. And this piece was written in 2015, so it's actually quite dated. Oh. So one year old, old things are old, old, old things. Right. So, who piece was obsessed about Instagram, you know, and Tinder, and then she meets a guy who's not on Tinder and who's not on Instagram, you know, and it doesn't work out for the both of them also. So I was like, "Hey, its subtext? What is its subtext? Is it that its got a little authenticity in its life? Mm. You know, and how do I show that? I thought let let me make her a landscape designer yeah. because I have a fair bit of interest in architecture. My friend is an architect. I go for a lot of these architect walks, and I was. Uh, and i just like to see how you know how people look at plants and how people look at nature you know whether it speaks to them or whether is it a way ke laga do plastic but thoda hara dikhna chahiye you know so mm-hmm. for me the authenticity i just wanted to do it not just in love but through her career also which is why when she says you know when she's not on social media or when she's not on her phone which is why she tells him you know that i judge myself less around you for me the line was more about ke bhai i judge myself less when i'm not on my phone you know when i'm not on these dates when i'm not on social media you know when i this is no communication that is happening because this guy is not on it so this guy alag mm. vibe so hence the pursuit of authenticity actually came from the piece another thing that i want to uh, remark upon in this film which was the humor i think it was very good understated humor at times which was for example i one point i had to pause and laugh which was basically at the same interaction in fact which i was talking about earlier where she he is telling her about the cancellation of the project and she's like why aren't you tell me why aren't you tell me that fucking like you know this is cancelled and then he's like no i thought we should do face and she's like who the fuck comes to thane for <laughs> for no reason and i was like dude and i found it so relatable kyunki i would be super pissed i don't care i wouldn't have dated anybody who would have called me to thane for a face to face i'm like dude, dude do you know how far it is like <laughs> और और मुझे मुझे अच्छा लगा कि फॉर द गाय इट वॉज मोर लाइक कि मैं इसको पैड करूंगा यू नो पहले मिलेंगे बात करेंगे फिर बोलूंगा but that was interesting in that sense also it's a very pre social media thing yeah. to do no you would exactly. expect someone not on social media to do this yeah, right yeah yeah acha i wanted to ask sorry for the dating bits uh, for i i guess you did a fair bit of research or also relied on your writer right nupur for that yeah because i Who thought we wanted to get on on the show so but she was unavailable but yeah we should try to get her sometime as well yeah 
बट वो वाला एक एक मोमेंट है जो मुझे याद है आई एम श्योर इट्स बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट विच वेर शी सिटिंग विद गाय एंड देन ऑन दी अदर टेबल देर इज अन अदर गर्ल हु फेसिंग द सेम sort of talk from yeah. the guy he hmm. she's sitting with and then they just ex- exchange glances yeah that was fun yeah. you know But, strange sorry go on no no please strange you know because uh, when i wrote that moment i was like hey, am i interfering in their lives because this is suddenly the director's voice you know hmm it's um, like i'm this is only time when i'm making a point you know and i'm not a kind of a writer director who wants to make a point you know i want to get right. feeling whether you catch it or not it's your thing and when this episode came out people were like hey are you should have done more of such things and i'm like hmm. but you know it's a very it's a tricky <coughs> place and i mean i personally don't feel comfortable about ki you do it once you do it twice at best hmm. yeah yeah so, but it then it feels like it's not about the characters it's about you know it's about something else it's about yourself in a way correct no i disagree with those people and i agree with you i think it was i think it's good these kind of things are good in short doses yeah. because the more you do them i find that the whole film becomes about that yeah and then it can just be a twitter thread you know like i'm just saying like it if it, if you if a lot of films that i watch and if the whole thing is message and if it's if it is constantly peppering peppered with that stuff um unless there's a very tight story around it and very very uh sort of enthralling experience around it i find that to be a, actually a demerit to so so this was i i'm glad that you went on another route so you're talking about dialogues na so the, the dialogues a lot of the dialogues also happen because the, because nupur and i have worked in the past and a lot of times i would write a scene or she would write a scene and then we would just be to- we would just talk about things that we find funny that is ko ye karwate hain ko ye karwate hain you know so the good thing is that when both of us are working everything matlab uh, hum hi haste rehte hain you know mm. or we chuckle you know so tune pehle co write kiya gaya sorry is this the first time you're co writing no little thing also was a co i mean oh yeah yeah, yeah. little thing <laughs> was was nupur also with you on little things Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was there on uh, three. I didn't write four, but she wrote. Four. Right. What I was trying to say was that I'm glad that it wasn't peppered with that stuff mm-hmm. a lot, and that it was mainly around these characters when you got to live with these characters. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially, I loved that moment towards the end, which actually that's the only thing that I that kind of stood out to me in terms of what I did not like per se, which is I would have really liked if the story would have ended at that. Uh, at the car you know when when they have that side hug i yeah. i thought like it was sort of apparent that these two are is a vibe basically and they are going to be a, a thing but uh, i just felt like that was such a beautiful moment in terms of Which you know one? the the one at the car where she's where they have that whole conversation where she's like oh, where he asks her you know that do you have a do you have a a, a husband or a boyfriend and woman. she's like i wouldn't mind oh, okay. having one interesting interesting and she and they have and i love the side hug that is <laughs> so relatable for anyone yeah. even the kiss yeah. for me was like not your typical kiss it is oh was a forehead wala mere ko ha sahi laga was that an addition like matlab was that like intentional ki thoda it was very very intentional it was all written man <laughs> I, i i'm i'm one of those boys you know I also want to show to the girl that I'm a nice gentleman. Huh. So I would always kiss the forehead. <laughs> Dhruv has to carry on that the the best boyfriend image, no? The the yeah. Even in my I private did. life, huh. to my own wife, and she like chala chuti. <laughs> Dhruv actually, you know, like how Anra Kashyap has that cameo in Mumbai Dragon, mm-hmm. and has a lot of these cameos where he's playing himself, but he's playing himself as an asshole. I I think Dhruv can Dhruv has the same. Now Dhruv is a well-known <laughs> enough figure that there should be there should be a film where Dhruv is one of those asshole people on the date, yeah. you know, where he's just like, yeah, that whole thing is just for show, man. I think, <laughs> like you know, just, I think that's a great opportunity that you should try to exploit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I just coming back to that interaction, you know, the way that these. because i would i i really like such characters in fact even even people in real life uh as people who are involved 
in the industry sort of and we are both Bharat and I also writers Bharat directs also so I think it's very you meet only a certain kind of people and I think that's what was relatable to me about Masaba's character that you know when you meet somebody not in this field it's such a in fact one time I met a friend who was with me with my other film people friends and we were talking about movies and when they left he was like yeah would you guys talk about movies too fucking much man what the fuck <laughs> like he was like what is this all you're talking about so that it was very uh very cool for me to watch that like somebody who's so removed from our realities yeah. as urban people yes Bharat. Honey, i i was thinking about ashwin our friend who basically left Mumbai because he's like यहाँ पे सिर्फ एक ही बात होती है मुझे नहीं करनी भाई मुझे चीजें करनी है but uh, he also said I mean and he is right कि तू दिन में कितने लोगों से मिलता है जिसके साथ तू non film की बातें करता है and I'm like that's true you're right हम लोग उसी में घुसे हुए हैं correct uh, what else यार एक second चार मिनट बचा है तो hmm. एक बार इसको काट के मैं फिर से चालू करता हूँ ठीक ठीक है अभी रिसेंटली मैंने रियलाइज किया कि फोन कॉल रिकॉर्ड करने में लोग ऑफेंड हो जाते हैं उन्हें बिना बताए इवन दो इट्स इवन दो इट्स परफेक्टली लीगल एंड व्हाई यू रिकॉर्डिंग एवरीवनस फोन कॉल्स व्हाट अभी देख जेन्युइनली बोलू मैंने इसके बारे में सोचा नहीं मेरे फोन में फीचर है इट जस्ट रिकॉर्ड्स एवरीथिंग एंड इट्स जस्ट सो मच मोर कन्वीनिएंट लाइक मेरे पापा ने मुझे कुछ बोला 10 काम करने को या कुछ भी आई कैन जस्ट गो बैक टू इट एंड प्ले बैक राइट देन आई मेंशन दिस टू माय एडिटर की लाइक नो 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 डोंट Make notes. I will make notes because I my phone has that automatic <laughs> capability. She got offended. She's like, "What the fuck? Why are you recording my voice?" I said, "Dude, it's <laughs> it's not that. It's but फिर उसके बाद मैंने disable कर दिया. And then I read up like, "Modern love, modern love, Gorega." That's anyway, modern love, Delhi, more like, but. Uh, Anyway, uh, so Dhruv, we uh, we were, I mean, now we are. I I can come to the point which I like, which I spoke to you also about, which is about yeah, yeah, yeah. the voice. I, I also criticize the film also, yeah, because hmm. I mean, important is more. ठीक है, okay. Uh, actually, I think why don't you start if you have anything to criticize? No, I honestly I just had one point of uh, this thing, which is not the film per se, but I couldn't get behind uh, one of the performances, which was Masaba's performance. uh okay. that was something that stood out to me because i think i have seen rituik act before uh he had actually acted in one of our friends short films That's also terrific. yeah abhash's short yeah, film yeah, yeah. so uh i don't know if dhruv is being sarcastic or being real no, he was but terrific in that film yeah, yeah he, he was, was terrific really in that film yeah, yeah. so um, i had written that film guys yeah. right and and uh he was also in uh, that nasruddin shah show i believe which is uh bandish 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 bandits. bandits i saw a little bit of it i'm not a fan of the show but it was his performance was, was good i thought whatever little i watched and uh, yeah so i really liked his performance paired with him i think because i guess she is not a professional actor per se um i mean she's done masaba masaba uh, which is which is probably her first i think her first performance right if i'm not wrong yeah uh, yeah you're right and and so i don't know i just felt a little bit um, lacking in that regard but and, what, what yeah. like? i don't know you know as i was saying earlier in terms of how people talk um, mm-hmm. how how people uh, i think that's really hard to get in fact i'm i mean i'm no expert on acting or whatever but when as a viewer i find that a lot of great actors are able to talk in a normal way without it seeming like uh, like a big deal you know and are able to carry off a normal dialogue while there were moments like that of by her in the film i think overall it always felt like this is this is an actor trying to talk in a normal sort of way i think there were moments where i felt that um so yeah and uh yeah and i think that's about that's about entirely of what i felt was was sort of negative about the film uh, or maybe even the even the uh, the video call which i don't have a problem with per se but uh, the video call with this with the sister who's going for a divorce and all that uh, and this is just a person i maybe it could have been not a divorce or maybe it could have been something more blase you know some something that is a more a less emotional or more of a of of an urban sort of uh, uh, some sort of a trial that she is going through 
uh, which is not necessarily something like life changing toxic as but something cataclysmic like as a divorce yes mm-hmm. exactly so mm-hmm. i just thought maybe that but that's like a minor thing but what mm-hmm. about you uh i i mean i've shared this with dhruv before but my point was at certain points in the film uh i felt that uh the characters when they're becoming when they want to give you like a when they're going deep into their introspective whatever and they're thinking about their past and their lives till that point they seem to me to slip into the same voice matlab ritwik bhi apni life ke bare mein waise hi baat karega jaise dolly ka character karegi ya jaise masaba ka character karegi it seemed that that is where dhruv's voice or nupur's voice or the director slash writer's voice comes in again i do not know the solution to this like how else to do this because i felt this even in uh, the be- like even the other good film that i liked which is vishal bhardwaj is like ki the resolutions come very pat they come very conveniently packed in like yaar aisa karna chahiye and again this is more of an i am making this about myself also kyunki as a writer i have also been brought up in that dice media universe where uh, you know moral of the story karke bata diya jata hai you know like a character at the end of this episode will sum it up ki hamari ye learning hui hame ye seekhna chahiye hame ye karna chahiye so the it is dmu <laughs> dice media universe and yeah ha so mujhe wo lagta hai mujhe bas wahan pe ek problem lagi thi because i have maybe this is also because i have seen a lot of groups work even the stuff that has not seen the light of day uh, to mujhe ye ek limitation lagi thi ki us time pe wo character apne jaise baat hi nahi kar rahe they are not talking like their characters they are talking like dhruv hmm. or nupur hmm. or whoever wrote them what actually do you think that ha so gone the the no no actually that give me while you're answering that also another thing that were you ever tempted to act yourself in this you can connect that to the answer you given to bharat nahi no, yaar i wasn't mujhe karna hi tha meri sorry for the use of this language mai phat jati agar mai act bhi karta director ka to mujhe thoda cringy feel hota correct ye matlab matlab mujhe kyun mujhe kyun heroine mili you know i'm not been able to answer that thought anyway. ab do bandon ki roti aapke pet mein jayegi basically ha yeah that too uh nahi yaar i think bharat uh, bharat is absolutely right uh, if i have to uh, understand why this problem happens ek to yaar most of the work that i have done or even the, the work that bharat has done wo 20 se 40 minute wale zone mein hmm. you know but ambition sala manchester by the sea banane ka but manchester by the sea tum 40 minute ya 20 ya 25 minute tum bana hi nahi sakte उसको वो एक सेंस ऑफ कंप्लीशन या सेंस ऑफ कंप्लीशन ऑफ पेन मिल ही नहीं सकता वो इंट्रोडक्शन हो सकता है बट वो फुलफिलमेंट नहीं हो सकती एंड इट्स अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज यू आर वेटिंग फॉर अ बिगर कैनवस यू आर वेटिंग फॉर अ बिगर कैनवस एंड द ट्रूथ इज दैट नो प्लीज वॉन्ट गिव यूर बिगर कैनवस बट यू योर सेल्फ यू हैव टू राइट अ मैचेस्टर बाय द सी यू हैव टू राइट अ फीचर यू नो एंड दैट जर्नी एंड इट्स अ मच हार्डर जर्नी but in this sense that for a medium like a modern love or other short stuff like this kahin na kahin you need to do this sense of completion and seep it into the story and then i think that the main problem that comes is that most of it comes from the voice of an urban 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 shit you know ki hum saale wo urban hi hai you know so our examples you know that uh, maybe to live life through love is the only way possible that i wrote as a way of uh, as in i wrote it when i was writing like it's a political in mere liye because you know okay then nafrat ki bhasha nafrat ki bhasha so i wrote it like that but nobody caught on to it and fair mm-hmm. enough but for me it was like hey yaar let me let me make it a bigger point let me not be so specific you know and that was my ambition but it didn't come across uh but maybe it's due to the economic Uh, and social strata which is why in the next show that i'm doing none of them are you know matlab mm. barring one girl who's also from a different part of india yet urban but matlab koi hai nahi urban so i was like hey, chalo you know let me exercise this dialogue skill there mm. um 
यही है यार यही है दैट यू नो यूर टेलिंग द स्टोरी अबाउट द सेम स्ट्राटा यूर टेलिंग द स्टोरी इन द सेम ऑन द सेम कैनवर्स यूजिंग द सेम कैनवर्स एंड द ड्यूरेशन डजेंट हेल्प यू more than anything else the objective of the project doesn't help you because the objective of the project is to give this tightly packed narrative you know which mm. people can um so yeah i mean those things kind of lend itself to this uh, i don't want to use the word repeatability but it is also what it is and one can't uh, deny that but fir wohi aata hai ha sorry no no go on go on no no for then you know then the, you know of course you know as a writer as a director or as a creator you think of all these things kya main same cheez hi kiye ja raha hu bar 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 hmm. but kahin na kahin the only thing that stops me from thinking on those lines and i think about i think on those lines a lot of time is that fuck everything think about your characters think about your story and think about what you want to say it's about their truth it's about their uh, dignity you know the dignity of the story and the dignity of the characters can you dignify them can you humanize them can you lend it some truth to it if you can do that it's fine the you know the weird thing is that when i was writing it i had you write random scenes that you think are interesting no so for me the most two three more most interesting scenes didn't even make it to the script because they didn't fit into that narrative of 35 40 minutes one was what happens when she goes to his house you know Mm. what's this room like? you know for mm. me that was very fascination because that lent me to push myself to imagine it yeah you know? yeah and for me the journey of masaba was sort of parallel to the journey of dolly who's a friend uh, not a sister even that's a confusion that some people have was when dolly is in this place in northeast she's trying to come come, come to terms with her own divorce but what happens when a phone doesn't work you know because the phone is a reminder of her divorce because she gets calls from her lawyer she gets calls from her ex husband she gets calls from her parents and her friends and her cousins and every in the entire world so she goes on a hike and her phone stops working and for the first time she looks up you know literally she says that you know i looked up for the first time mm-hmm. and realizes that she like you know so for me when i wrote that dialogue in my notebook i'm like yes this is the voice of the writer the the actor you know or the character that ye uska experience hai hmm but again as i keep saying you know you have to be aware of the canvas that you've been given and then play to those rules hmm no that's that's actually fascinating because i think this is a constant battle for i think anyone creative in that sense anyone successfully creative like somebody who's actually tasted some some success because you will forever like your people will assume your bandwidth to be the urban love kind yeah. of a thing which you can already sort of tell right because of little things ka background and and this now so and you've fortunately unfortunately you've done well in both so i think it becomes it becomes a a thing of and repetition and ha huh. like even whether it's positive or negative the the reception that your film has gotten is like ha little continuing on the little things mm. uh, mold yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it pisses me off a little you know mm. it really really does because yeah you can say it's like little things but you know when somebody gives me an offer like that will you do model love with these directors and the story that you got oh of course and you didn't want <laughs> yeah. you know you uh, wanted other stories and i was i got this story yet i wanted to dignify to add dignity to the story so i think it's very easy when they say ah it's like little things but actually you know it is like that because the strata mm-hmm. is the same, the world is the same the city mm-hmm. is the same the age is little different so there is a little bit of fatigue thera bolo hai jo bhi tum bolo mm-hmm. and the situation is little different and when people say ke richard link later is much i'm like ye to bahut basic hai mm-hmm. ye kisi ne bola kya ye yes, sir half the reviews or whatever and i don't want to be that fucking filmmaker jo reviews are cheap like <laughs> <laughs> But you know when people say that, but you are. 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 But you
first thought that comes to your mind you know you have to also submit to the whatever you seeing i guess acha that's another point i wanted to bring up sorry sorry bharat but it was around the reviews uh uh which you which you also brought up on the reviews of the of the film which was fascinating to me because i saw a bunch of them in preparation for this thing also uh and what was unique about this unlike a lot of other anthologies which have come out lately mm-hmm. for example the ghost stories one very obviously the bakers was the best matlab that was no competition in that regard a lot of others also very clearly these on the shitty these on the good like that was Yeah. across the board Kira, everyone's Kira, 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 like that hit it off the Gili, park oh yeah gili puchi, gili puchi. Uh-huh. Yeah. right so uh, i'm saying that but in this one na almost every reviewer has, okay everyone has said vishal bardraj is damn good but apart from that everyone has had like really violent reactions to to everything so some for somebody <clears throat> i was listening to awful and awesome which is a podcast i listen to often uh, by news andre and they really loved uh, they hated rat rani and they loved <clears throat> this one uh, bai sorry ha <clears throat> bai while i read another review where they hated bai what and they loved since it's sorry what did they I, say for not not very good uh, not very good things which on. is for <laughs> a, <laughs> i i will let people listen to that podcast cuz i don't want to <laughs> I want to ascribe that to me but yes uh, because i did not share their opinion on that i think uh, i think it was a genuinely memorable film in that sense because it's it's something that um, i think thani alone you know just that that thing uh, alone is so something so unexplored and to find something in this bombay larger metropolitan area if i may call it might call it it's it's like it's just an unexplored area which is very hard to find in this space in this setting uh, to find an unexplored area so i think for that alone i really uh, enjoyed the film bharat you were saying something no while you talking i came i had this thought and it took me back to my first when i first watched the film uh, which is that sort of the there is a parallel in the characters in dhruv's film and dhruv himself making this film i feel which is that they are both seeking sort of this authenticity ki mm. uh, masaba's character is always looking for something real something she can touch something she can smell even with dhruv's writing and his direction and whatever they have created there is this they are seeking realism <laughs> to a degree which is not just ha dekho realistically baat kar rahe hain but mm. it should also reflect in everything the way you see a character the way they will behave or like a little thing right like kissing on the for uh, on the forehead <laughs> on the forehead yes. that is such an like again that's that is emblematic of the fact ki aap ek you are seeking authenticity you are seeking to tell stories which are not just realistic in in terms of speech you know to wo thought aata mere dimag mein but another another compliment dhruv which is which also had me laughing which was uh, adar malik's characters jab wo when the text flashes on screen by the way good i i really like that you did the you didn't go for the fucking shitty like you know on the on the app aisa wo dikha rahe hain ya aisa app ka weird graphics it was a full screen full text i like that i like people who pay attention that to that kind of stuff that was the editor malik who worked it Hey, I've actually uh, I've actually interviewed Malik for the India Independent Film Podcast by Rahul Desai. So we uh, have a very random episode where it's just two of us. It's basically like guys, that's an extra episode discontent only, basically because Rahul Desai is not in it. Anyway, so um, yeah, so I really loved that you named other Malik's characters company Crypto Crypto. Like I just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the the in your face approach with that. Also, that little door there, na? I got lucky. कुछ बता सकते उसका क्या हो रहा है कुछ हो रहा है अच्छा पता नहीं आई डों This is a show that I was making, man. I was making with dice hmm. uh, again. And oh, I've heard of this. Huh? Correct. Abhash edited this, dude. 
right yeah, right man. right now dude i met dhruv at abhash's house coincidentally yeah, cuz remember yeah. you were there and he was editing you were you guys were editing ha kya hua uska it was long this is like 4 years ago or something yeah, yeah, sure, years. Dude, uh, it was a good practice i mean <laughs> but <laughs> no it was good i mean i don't think kuch hoga to be very really honest because uh, uh, but mujhe lagta hai ki tera jo lost and found ka individual stories thi na जो तूने एक सेकंड वाली भी लिखी थी आई रिमेंबर अब आई डोंट नो हु ओन्स दैट मे बी यू डोंट ओन इट ओ या आई डिंट थिंक दैट आई डोंट या गुड नेवर माइंड बट डूड या जस्ट एज राइटर्स द द द स्टफ दैट यू वर्क ऑन एंड डजंट गेट मेड इज अ इज इज रियली रियली पेनफुल इज रियली मोस्ट ऑफ आवर फिल्मोग्राफी राइट नाउ एट दिस पॉइंट बेसिकली या इज हाउ इट ऑलवेज इज ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड या success but acha listen there were some comments from not comments like there were some questions on the discontent group for you yes uh, one of them was very interesting i feel where i will ask you hold on ha huh, how much went into so somebody linked your instagram post where you have that diary uh, hmm. you posted a photo of that diary and somebody has asked how much work went into creating the world in reference to this diary so oh, is there oh. something you want to talk about या या सो मच सो मच मुझे तो मुझे वो पीस ही नहीं अच्छा लगा तो भी यू नो स्वेरिंग ऑफ द मॉडर्न मैन द वन दैट वी अडॉप्टेड फ्रॉम मुझे वो भाई नहीं रहा था बिकॉज़ आई जस्ट फेल्ट की तो बहुत डेटेड है यार ये तो नोबडी गिव्स अ फक इफ यू आर ऑन इंस्टा और नॉट बिकॉज़ लिटरली एवरीवन इज ऑन इट एंड इवन इफ यू आर नॉट ऑन इट डजंट मीन दैट यू आर यू आर कूल बिकॉज़ दैट आई इज नॉट अ स्टेटमेंट एनीमोर इट वाज़ इन 2015 अभी नहीं ये एग्जैक्टली इट्स नॉट अ स्टेटमेंट एनीमोर यू नो इट्स एज़ नॉर्मल एज़ बीइंग ऑन इट एज़ नॉट बीइंग ऑन इट सो इट टुक मी अ लॉन्ग while to understand this character and her plight you know but i knew there is something there because when i spoke to a lot of women of a particular age group over the age of 32 who are looking to find someone and are not able to find someone i generally feel that yeah iska resonance to ye hai ki saale bande nahi hain ke you know ye hai ye truth hai you know jahan tak meri research ne mujhe bola the so i had written a pilot you know and then when i got nupur on board which is the good thing about her she always brings this great lightness of touch not just to the script but to the entire process to the entire uh, work environment you know and we never met and worked on this we were always on call so mm. the fact that we can do bollywood gossip for half an hour and then work on this piece for 5 minutes made it a better piece you know mm. so uh, when you work with someone it should relax you as opposed to tense you up you know and that's what i always find great about nupur and also because she's trained from the aib school you know jahan pe casualness was the work environment you know to not take yourself ultra seriously and i'm one of those people who wants to take everything ultra seriously to kahin na kahin wo balance bahut acha lagta hai and then once she came on board uh things started falling into place much better but in terms of my own mental preparation वो तो बहुत ज्यादा था यार वो तो बहुत ज्यादा था मैंने रेडिट चार्ट लिया था देर वॉज इस होल एंगल ऑफ हर बींग थ्रू ऑफ हर one of the many instagram warriors ki tarah uska ek post bana deta hai what is pcos uski face ke sath ye kya hai oh nice she goes to out you know it's all there it's all shot and edited and then she says that dude why would you do that you know and she's not confrontational she's just tired and she just says ki nikal do isko please hmm. and then uh, yeah wo nikal deta hai but usko wo samajh hi nahi aata what is the big deal hmm. because i'm helping her right bro oh, sorry this reminds me of a scene from reluctant fundamentalist dekhiye tum logo ne the movie ha yes so it's not oh, in the man, book ha yeah. i know the scene you're talking yeah. about the ha. moment is not in the book it's in the movie where he has a girlfriend right and she's this artist she's this avant garde artist and she's so fascinated that he's you know he's pakistani <laughs> and then there's an exhibition that she hosts aur wahan pe pura pakistan this is a post 911 by the way just yeah, after 911 and he just goes there he's like what the fuck is this 
you know she has she has like in big bold letters you know the avant garde like new york type art matlab aisa likha hua i had a pakistani once like aisa aisa bade mein likha like it's just that like it is really weird shit yeah and to her it's like i'm doing you a favor like main tujhe famous bana diya hai you know in this art Haan. circle this guy, had, this guy had the similar he had he, had, he was more confused he's like ye aise kaise ye kya ho gaya and then the scene ends with him saying that by the way i'm doing a vegan for a week challenge shall i tag you on that tofu burger recipe on hmm. insta <laughs> and then she meets parth mm-hmm. so anyway there was a lot of mental preparation man also because i was directing for the first time on this larger scale na correct i had to do the basic master class courses on master class you know of um, mm. of, of all the directors that are there you know best kaun sa laga tujhe यार मतलब वो तो डायरेक्टर का नहीं है बट मुझे उसका बहुत अच्छा लगता है सॉर्किन का आई आल्सो लाइक हिज अ लॉट आई लाइक मार्टिन स्कोसेसी एंड जॉर्डी फॉस्टर बिकॉज शी रियली ब्रेक्स इट डाउन इन वेरी सिंपल टर्म्स यू नो एंड आई आल्सो लाइक द वो जो टोपी पहन के रहते हैं यार बड़े रॉन हावर्ड रॉन हावर्ड या या द वे ही वॉज सो ही डायरेक्टेड वन सीन के आई हैव एट आवर्स टू डायरेक्टर सीन आई डू इट लाइक दिस आई हैव फोर आवर्स एंड देन आई हैव you know mm. so so he directed the oh. so that oh, Ron Howard nice. is also my favorite and Aaron hey, that's very cool that's yeah. a really good advice for anyone who's ever directed because the time thing becomes like a yeah, yeah, biggest yeah. challenge yeah, yeah 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 and the stress on, on a director is the first mm. time I literally I came back from the first day of shoot and my entire right shoulder was hurting and I didn't lift literally a pen but the amount of tension and stress I had I was like fuck but the चौदह चीजें शूट करनी थी और सात की ये तो मतलब वेरी बैड डे एट ऑफिस है नहीं सबसे बड़ी लर्निंग मेरी भी ऑन द जॉब हुई थी कि भाई डायरेक्शन इज लाइक मे बी टेन परसेंट वर्क क्रिएटिविटी द रेस्ट ऑफ इट इज मे बी टेन परसेंट अबाउट क्रिएटिविटी ऑन सेट यू नो मोस्ट ऑफ योर क्रिएटिविटी इज एक्सपेंडेड ऑन प्रेपरेशन एंड पोस्ट एंड देन ऑन सेट तुम्हें मैनेज करना है तुम्हें इतने टाइम में ये मैनेज करना है बेसिकली Yeah, that is what the I good do. thing is that, uh, like I, I speak for all of us, that at the end of the day, because I was never a good student in school, so I want to be a good student in life now. That मतलब मैं कुछ भी करने से पहले preparation इतना कर देता हूँ ना मैंने इतना detailed short breakdown कर दिया था पूरे film का अकेले बैठे बैठे उत्ते की तरह लगा पड़ा हूँ लगा पड़ा हूँ लगा पड़ा हूँ that I was like कि चलो यार at least I should not be clueless. That's the worst feeling, you know. कि इसको कैसे करें? <laughs> you know, I don't want to use that fucking phrase. प्लेटफॉर्म वॉट वी लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू डू इज इफ यू रियली एंजॉय दिस पॉडकास्ट एंड इफ यू कैन अफोर्ड इट देन जॉइन आर यूट्यूब मेंबरशिप और आर बाई मी कॉफी मेंबरशिप द लिंक टू दिस विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन इफ यू डू दैट यू गेट मेंबरशिप इन टू आर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप द सेम व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप वी आस पीपल फॉर क्वेश्चन फॉर द्रूफ एंड वी डिस्कस मूवीज ओवर देयर प्रिटी मच एवरी डे वी टॉक वी शेयर मीम्स every trailer that comes in we sort of dissect yesterday, it and we just, we had a feel yeah. yes yes it was something diwali for you guys <laughs> a lot of fun yes a lot so, of memes uh, yeah for context the brahmastra trailer came out i will leave it at that for now but uh, yeah and so it's just a lot of fun if you like to support us if you like to see this podcast uh, go further and do more episodes ideally another 100, another 76 episodes then please do consider supporting us or at least subscribe and follow us on spotify or if whatever platform you're listening to do try to rate us over there or follow us on that because that also helps us bump up uh, bharat if Haan, there is there are any more we, questions then we answered, can go to recommendations yeah we've answered the questions dhruv do you want to have anything else to say about yes. anything before we go into recommendations something we have not covered that you want to talk about no man no i just want to say that it's very hard to write like i always told this <laughs> because now yeah. i i can't write urban romance so i'm like <laughs> <laughs> i'm so so but that but... but that's good i think i think that whole thing of now you have ek jo cheez hoti hai ek compartment mein wo ja chuka hai and that i think you for you now it will be I think it's actually kind of exciting to then not do this, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. 
बट समथिंग एल्स आई ऑल्सो फील कि अगेन मे बी यूर नॉट डूइंग दिस मे बी आई एम जस्ट बींग मैं बस ज्ञान चोद रहा हूँ फालतू में बट आई डोंट थिंक यू शुड डू समथिंग रेडिकली डिफरेंट टू प्रूव अ पॉइंट वो होएगा ही नहीं वो 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 करीब कर ही नहीं पाऊंगा मैं लाइक जस्ट फॉर द के देखो मैं हाउ बिग इज माई डीवा Also, because I I do think while while that aspect of what I said was there, which is that you don't want to the setting and all those things don't have to be the same. But your voice is very clear. I think yeah. in in little things and in this, the voice is coming across very well, which is which is good. I think I think that's one of the harder things yeah. to sort of capture. Yeah. Let's go to the recommendations. Bharat, do you want to start? Yeah. I mean, uh, okay. No, I don't want to start. I will have to think about it. Okay. Because I know your recommendation with, is the same as mine, so yeah. Right, which is uh, this new film that has come out, directed by Anamika Hakkar, written and directed by her. It's called Ghode ko Jalebi Khilane Le Jaria Hu. Ah, uh, but Dhru, have you seen it yet? I have seen it. Yeah. So, ah, uh, I personally absolutely loved the film. I am, as they call, indie choda anyway. So, ah, uh, basically, I, I find anything where. where people have the audacity to go with their uh like sort of very unabashed which bharat and i were discussing yesterday this aspect of that film unabashedness of yeah. of their of their thoughts and their opinions and they have the in today's world to put their put all of that out there uh in a manner which a lot of people will not look down upon but will consider as oh ye to indie ye to ye log to matlab i think in that sort of an environment where everyone is super pragmatic and super uh, you know ultra ye to chalta nahi industry matlab wo jo attitude hai i i really despise so i really love that film from that angle plus the film itself is so is such a refreshing um voice in indian cinema i think and uh, i think everyone should watch it if it's in your city i think it might be too late now but uh, i know in mumbai they've added more shows because it was the theater was full i was so yeah. glad to see that might yeah, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. that might be yeah i went to fund republic and that might be a thing because we are we are in indie land in varsova ke baju mein that is the so center of the bubble that we live in yeah <laughs> so, so so <laughs> fund republic hai na udhar udhar yrf yeah. ka office udhar dice media ka office udhar aage सुधीर मिश्रा बालाजी सब हां और सब लोग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड जो वहां काम करते सब इंडी के जो थे फ्रस्ट्रेटेड होते भैया सुट्टा मार रहे होते हैं हां तो तो सुट्टा मार के देन वो लोग इमीडिएटली आते फॉर रिपब्लिक उसके बाद जाते दुलाली दी बेर पीते हैं और फिर इट्स रिलीज दैट आई मीन इफ इट इफ दे हैव एडिड शोस या सो दैट्स अ गुड थिंग इफ दे हैव इफ दे सो इफ दे हैव डन दैट प्लीज डू ट्राई टू वॉच इट और व्हेनेवर इट कम्स टू ओटीटी प्लीज ट्राई टू वॉच दिस फिल्म बिकॉज़ इट्स brilliant in my opinion it's matlab everything about this movie is something that is and should be a wake up call to people who want to make this kind of cinema that you can do it and that if you just stick to your vision you don't have to follow a specific template set out by either the bollywood mainstream industry or the ott industry and you can just sort of do your old school sort of style of of cinema and if somebody calls you pretentious then it doesn't fucking matter because everyone's pretentious so yes dhruv Yeah, no, I I'll also recommend the same film. Besides, two more things. Uh, also, that film uh, they're not in the same league at all. Uh, not in the same league as in good bad, but they're not in the same uh, genre bracket of things. Hmm. It reminded me of October. I was like, man, this is what happens when people really work to their best, hmm. and when people are given a chance. Because I know few people who worked on Gode. I was hmm. like, fuck, that's so good. You know, given a chance. You know. Yeah. And. मतलब इतना ओरिजिनलिटी कौन सी फिल्म में यार यू नो एंड वी कीप लुकिंग एट मलयालम फिल्म्स एंड आई एम लाइक आई वाज आई एम नॉट गोना यूज द वर्ड प्राउड बट आई वाज जस्ट सो हैप्पी के यार यू नो दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ दिल्ली दिस इज द सबकॉन्शियस दिस इज द सबऑल्टर्न दिस इज द स्टोरी ऑफ दिल्ली ये है दिल्ली यू नो एंड आई रिमेंबर आई सॉ इट 2 इयर्स बैक एट आईआईएचएस इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ह्यूमन सेटलमेंट इन बेंगलोर एंड आई वाज गोइंग टू ईट बिरयानी बिकॉज़ इट वाज माय लास्ट इन and parumita vora she's like hey, you're not going to see this film and i thought it's going to be one of those ye kya type correct ha uh-huh. like no ma'am i have to go and eat biryani at megas because kal meri subah jaldi flight hai <laughs> she's like you fucking fool come and sit down <laughs> and watch this when you've come from bombay to attend a festival uh-huh. but you're eating biryani and i saw it and like and mujhe sab kuch nahi chamka to be honest uh-huh. but mujhe 
एक फ्रेम में बोरियत या सीन या लैक ऑफ फ्रेशनेस या लैक ऑफ पर्सपेक्टिव नहीं दिखा जो कि यू वांट एज अ फिल्म मेकर यू वांट एज एन ऑडियंस यू नो मतलब गदर फिल्म है बहुत सही हाईली एंटरटेनिंग हाईली एंटरटेनिंग या एंड दैट होल यू नो दो आई लव दैट होल कॉमेंट्री on uh, on sort of this old delhi ka that that walking tour jo karata hai and he's like a sort of nehru type like nehru ki na jaye wala type character you know and it's just that and even the even the urban people coming and you know that thing there is constant use of the word subaltern so also like how it's how it's yeah. used in that context so captured everything very well yeah so acha guys i we hope to get her on the podcast sometime yes yeah. सॉरी चार मिनट बचे हैं तो क्विकली करते हैं तो तेरे बता दें देन आई वांट टू रिकमेंड अंडर द बैनर ऑफ हेवन एंड्रू ग्राफी का शो है आई डोंट लव इज एक्टिंग दैट बट मतलब अगेन वन ऑफ दो थिंग्स वेर यू आर लाइक काश मैं अमेरिकन बच्चा होता तो मैं भी अमेरिकन ऐसी चीजें बनाता बट या जस्ट वॉच इट मैन इट इट द वे क्वेश्चन एंड क्रम्बल्स योर ओन ऑन पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स मतलब रिलीजन तो उन्होंने एक चीज पकड़ा है बट यू नो दे यू कैन क्वेश्चन योर ओन फैमिली योर ओन हिस्ट्री एंड हाउ इट जस्ट क्रम्बल्स इट्स वे कैन वन वॉच दिस इट्स ऑन डिजनी हॉटस्टार ओके भाई आदित्य आई वॉन्ट टू स्पीक फॉर टू थ्री मोर मिनट्स बट मतलब नॉट फॉर माई सेल्फ As a way of discussion, shall we just uh-huh. read yeah, this? We'll renew this. I was just one thing to add. I thought that I have recommended this book a lot of times under the banner mm. of Heaven, by uh, which is which is what this film is based on. I mean, this show is based on. Correct. Correct. So I I wanted to recommend this short story collection called The Dancing Girls by Margaret Atwood, and she's a Canadian writer of much repute. She yes. she despises the term science fiction. She says I I write speculative fiction because that gives a better idea of like these things could actually happen. So she's like I'm always interested by writing things that I feel should not happen but I think will happen. So that is her idea of speculative fiction, which is very interesting. Uh, unki short story collection here, The Dancing Girls, which is about it is in a way like modern love, but a twisted take on modern love and all of these short stories are about urban discomfort oh, wow. discomfort yeah discomfort with the state of being well and it is interpreted in different themes like one theme is insanity there is a woman who's slowly going insane and how her interactions with different people change those people and changes her that is one theme then the other theme is alienation the other theme is very similar to mumbai dragon where where this guy called Uh, like there is a cultural mismatch or mix and match so i i found this very apt for this episode which is why really? yeah dancing girls hai mere paas tum logo ko padhni ho to i can send it to, like give it to you guys whenever mm. in fact this reminds me of a quote uh, which i read on twitter shared by arti kadav i don't know whose quote that is uh i had said this in our episode discussing severance also which is that good sci-fi is not one that predicts the automobile but predicts the traffic jam which is yeah. what i think margaret atwood also is very like i and that's a very good touch point to have for that sort of fiction yeah generally correct. very fascinating i will borrow this book from you definitely i just i remembered uh, i just remember that maine severance third episode ka dekha hi nahi main ladakh chala gaya main wapas aaya uske mein socha hi nahi dude you need to watch this please Yeah, yeah, no, I'll watch it. No, so one thing I wanted to just not ask but discuss rather. Yeah, मुझे क्या लग रहा है ना ये because to write great stories is so difficult that I think the template that is followed usually a lot in the world, be it Japan or Korea or US or everywhere else, mm-hmm. that they adapt. You know, they adapt lot from the books. You know, like अब मुझे genuinely ये लग रहा है. जैसे मुझे लग रहा था दैट आई कैन जेनली ट्राई एंड बी दिस मास्टर स्टोरी टेलर आई फील इट्स अ डिफरेंट स्किल सेट टू बी अ स्टोरी टेलर एंड टू बी अ स्क्रीन राइटर आई कैन सी द डिफरेंसेस यू नो एंड इवन द रिदम ऑफ लाइफ नाउ व्हेन आई सॉ अंडर द बैनर ऑफ हेवन व्हेन आई आई थिंक ड्राइव माय कार इज आल्सो टेकन फ्रॉम दिस शॉर्ट स्टोरी ऑफ मुराकामी राइट या या सो इज मैनचेस्टर बाय द सी आई नो मैनचेस्टर इज अ ओरिजिनल बाय केनन हां आई वाज जस्ट लाइक या साला हमारा अडेप्टेशन का है यार यू नो इज देर अ डर्थ ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड इफ आई डोंट वॉन्ट अ फकिंग अडेप्टेशन ऑफ अनदर 
another bomb on another terrorist attack and another right pn i don't want that crap you know like good heavy dense storytelling you know which you find in books but you don't find on our screens so like are mm-hmm. we not reading indian shit is indian stuff which is a highly incorrect possibility is not good enough the in- the indian literature or is it really difficult to adapt or is it difficult to chipkao you know because good literature adaptations are not uh, so edgy they are basic great human dramas most of them mm. so no, like so uh, as i have also been on you know on a trip of sort of indian literature lately and uh, like i recently read uh, cuckold and and uh, this one jerry pinto's uh, book idhar hi padhi yaar main fucking remember for uh, m and the big home you know uh, and even uh, the, i'm i i read 100 pages of delhi last year by kushwan singh the dru finished it this year and he so need to finish it so i'm going to be picking up next and and so i've got to know sand also no, no, ha main teko main tere ko tere ko hi credit de raha hu saale to so point is that i like there is so much great literature but the thing is the wo khosa khosa dialogue hai na ki matlab जमीन जमीन बहुत सारी है कोई अपना बनाने वाला चाहिए बेसिकली विच इज विच इज देर इज लॉट सो ग्रेट डूट इंडियन लिटरेचर इज वे बेटर देन इंडियन सिनेमा इन टर्म्स ऑफ द शेयर क्वालिटी दैट दे दैट दे पुट आउट इट्स एट अ ग्लोबल लेवल आई मीन फ्रॉम फ्रॉम योर रश डी टू अमृता प्रीतम या सो माय थिंग इज दैट आर द प्रोड्यूसर्स बिकॉज़ लिटरेचर भी दो किस्म के होते हैं एक होता है जो मतलब इसको बना दो सुपर हिट मिलेगा व्हिच इज द काइंड ऑफ एडाप्टेशंस दैट आर हैपनिंग इन इंडिया यू नो द कंधार यू नो uh i think hansel mehta even though of course he'll do it he'll do a terrific job he's his new one is it's on john day the journalist who got killed you know right oh. j day yes yes uh, zero no. dial i read that book long ago zero yeah. dial have you read zero dial it's fascinating hmm. but we make around the literature also is of a two different kinds you know one is like the under of ban under the banner of heaven uh, hmm. you know like a drive my car यू नो एक तो होता है जो ह्यूमन वाला लिटरेचर होता है एक होता है जो मतलब ये देखो जरा बट लाइक मेर ऑफ ईस्टॉन इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम अ बुक आई थिंक आई एम नॉट श्योर बट मुझे मुझे लगता है ऐसा ये मैं अपने एक्सपीरियंस से बोल रहा हूँ एंड आदित्य आई नो यू वॉन्ट यू हैव टू गो so drop off yeah in like फाइव मिनट yes you guys can गार्डन यू आई जस्ट ड्रॉप ऑन फाइव मिनट मुझे तो मुझे तो ये लगता है कि अगेन दिस इज वेरी फ्रॉम माय एक्सपीरियंस मुझे लगता है हम लोग अपना लिटरेचर नहीं पढ़ते हैं वी डोंट इन द पास्ट लेट्स से फाइव इयर्स मैंने कौन सी ऐसी किताब है जो इंडियन लिटरेचर वाली जो मैंने पढ़ी है आई थिंक इट ऑल्सो है बहुत बहुत पढ़ी होगी तुमने नहीं नहीं मैं वही बता रहा हूँ ना मैं हमने हम बोल सॉरी बट बाई इंस्टिंग एंड बाय जस्ट वॉट इज अवेलेबल टू मी एंड वॉट इज अराउंड मी every second if not every third book that i read is an indian book okay so then that's something mm-hmm. that's different for you and from no even from i read mostly like even when i i wasn't reading for the past couple of years that much to be very honest very few books but i would invariably one of them would be indian every now and then so really? uh, but mostly non fiction to be honest i've been uh, थोड़े टाइम से मैं मतलब मनु पिल्ले स्पेशली और डालरम पिल मतलब ऑनररी इंडियन ही काउंट करूंगा मैं उसको तो मतलब वैसा सब हिस्ट्री का भी पढ़ा तो बट आई थिंक देर मतलब इंडियन इंडियन लिटरेचर इज वेरी ओवरवेलमिंग टू बी ऑनर्स मतलब इतना कुछ है पढ़ने को इफ यू जस्ट स्टार्ट आउट ऑन दैट ऑन दैट रोड एंड आई जस्ट बिफोर आई लीव वन थिंग अबाउट द अडेप्टेशन बिट एंड आई डोंट नो मच आई डोंट नो एज मच अबाउट द इंडस्ट्री एज एज ध्रुव नो और इवन भारत नो बट uh i i think there is an there is an apprehension to, and i might be wrong about this very widely there is an apprehension to being too intellectual or seeming to be too intellectual i think i think in cinema i think it is actively discouraged to be to act too smart you know and literature by, mm. as a medium itself is a very intellectual medium so uh, whether whether it's a serious man or it's you know any of these things it it just becomes too you can tell because almost every book that i read indian or otherwise there is always a character snark 
the a pessimistic outlook towards life to a lot of a lot of books right or at least the ones that i like you know um that kind of thing is sort of looked down upon kyunki hamare characters we like them to be like you know the every man in a sense mm. and that is very limited um in the scope of in the scope of literature because it, it it will invariably go beyond that if if you try to adapt something like that so i think wo kyunki aisa to nahi hai in log ne matlab all these very smart people haven't read these books i'm sure they have um but wo hai yaar matlab wo wo karega kon matlab wo who will have the conviction to be like nahi i will stay with this agar for example if i take kakuld ka example if i will stay with this I will show these Rajput kings in this light. First of all, तो उसमें जो उसके जो outside के जो repercussions हैं वो तो अलग चलो side में आओ. But even otherwise, how will you how will you be able to in a world of Bansalis? How will you how will you present this you know sort of reality of historical fiction in a sense? So पता नहीं मेरे हिसाब से I am very pessimistic on that front. I hope people do this. I hope a lot of more people uh, adapt a lot of Indian literature. Dhruv, maybe you can maybe you can take that initiative. Yeah, yeah. who wouldn't? I mean, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, of course. Bharat, you were saying something? No, my was done. I will just have to leave. I'm so sorry. My like meeting. No, hello, no, end it. So wrap, wrap, do it. Wrap, do it. Yeah. All right. With that, we come to the conclusion of the of episode seventy six of the Discontent Podcast, and uh, we did this in the early morning. Uh, 8:30 is when we started, and we have ended at 10. And the conversation can still go on, but we all have different things to do. At unfortunately, at this point, so we will be ending. But Dhruv, thank you so much for joining us, man. And thank you for having me, guys. Uh, yes, and uh, this was a lot of fun. We hope you had fun too, and hope to do this again because we have a lot more things to say. I'm sure. So uh, let's do this some other time again. And till then, bye bye.